First, take out of all items from the package. There are monitor, camera, power cord, bracket, cigarette, lighter, antenna, screws and T-taps. Pick up the monitor. This is a green protective label. If the protective film is clean and doesn't affect using it, we recommend not to tear it off. Pull the green label and tear it off. This is an antenna base. Mount the antenna to the monitor. There are three keys, the plus menu, M, down. Pick up the bracket. Align the two holes and snap in. This is a magnet. Align the magnetic bracket with a round hole on the back of the monitor and put it on. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. Pull up the buckle. Tear off the protective film of the base. Place the bracket where you want and pull down the buckle, like my operation. Pull up the buckle to remove the bracket, like my operation. There are two T-taps. Pick up the camera. Tear off the protective film of the camera, like my operation. The white thin wire is antenna of camera. Please don't cut it or their wires. The camera will be unable to transmit the signal. This is power cord. Pick up the power cord. This is 4 pin connector. Now connect the power cord and 4 pin connector. Like my operation. The red wire is to positive, black wire is to negative. Take out the license plate. Align the camera bracket hole with the license plate screw hole. Fix the camera to the license plate with screws. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. You can also install the camera in the middle of the license plate. Fix the camera to the license plate with 3M sticker. You can flexibly adjust the position of the camera. Pick up the monitor. Pick up the power cord. Like my operation. Connect the power cord and the monitor. Pick up the monitor. The red wire is to positive, black wire is to negative. Like my operation. You can use a tool to cut off the outer insulator. Be careful not to cut the copper wire like my operation. Now merge the two red wires. Take out the green connector. The plus sign is positive, the minus sign is negative. Use a tool to loosen the screw. Insert the merged red wire into the positive plus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Then merge the two black wires. Insert the merged black wire into the minus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Please note, do not make the positive and negative wires touch. Then plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The testing finished. Now disconnect all the wires. This wire can be connected to fuse box, a CC radio, ignition switch. Disconnect the monitor power cord. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. The red and black wires are connected to the positive and negative poles of the reverse light or tail light or license plate light respectively.
The black fin antenna can be installed outside and is waterproof. Please distinguish the positive and negative poles of the reversing lights, tail lights or license plate lights in advance. Now I demonstrate that the positive and negative poles are reversed. Connect the thin red wire of the power cord to the negative pole. Connect the black thin wire of the power cord to the positive pole. No image on the monitor. Now red connects red, black connects black. The image appears on the screen. Pick up the monitor. There are three keys, the plus menu, M, down. Press the up key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Press the up key again to switch to the split mode. Press the up key again to switch to the CAM1 channel. Press the down key when the H appear on the screen. Press the up key to adjust the height of the guidelines. Press the down key when the W appear on the screen. Press the up key to adjust the width of the guidelines. Press the down key when the M appear on the screen. Press the up key to move the guidelines left and right. Press the M key to exit the menu mode. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. If the product you received has pictures please do not pair. Press the M key again to switch to brightness. Press up and down keys to adjust brightness. Press the M key to switch to contrast. Press the up and down keys to adjust the contrast. Press the M key to switch to hue. Press the up and down keys to adjust the hue. Press the M key to switch to flip image. There are four modes normal image, mirror image, vertical normal image, vertical mirror image. Press the up key to switch the image flip mode. Press the menu key to switch to guideline. Press the up key to turn on off the guideline. Press the menu key to switch to copyright information. Press the menu key again to exit the menu mode. The guideline is not appear on the screen. In this case, the down key has no effect. Presses the menu key to switch to the guideline. Press the up key to turn on the guideline. The system automatically exits the menu mode after 3 seconds. If you receive a new camera or your camera has no images, connect the power cord to the camera. Connect the power cord to the monitor. Like my operation. Now merge the two red wires. Then merge the two black wires. Take out the green connector. Use a tool to loosen the screw. Insert the merged red wire into the positive plus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Insert the merged black wire into the minus slot of the green connector. Tighten the screw. Please note, do not make the positive and negative wires touched. Then, plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power. Press the red button. The monitor lights up and the image appears on the screen. Press the up key to switch to the CAM2 channel. Press the menu key to enter the menu mode. Press the up key to enter the pair. Turn off the camera, power and power on. 
select the image on the screen, that means signal paired successfully. Press the up key to switch to the split mode. Press the up key again to switch to the CAM1 channel. Press the menu key to enter the menu mode. Press the up key to enter the pair. Turn off the camera, power and power on. The image on the screen, that means signal paired successfully. Like my operation. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord plug the power cord into the second hole iron sheets clamp the iron sheet to the taps bottom 